I just wanted to make a quick continuation video uh, in conjunction to the last one. The last month and a half, I've noticed mice really wanting to get into the house. I actually chased one around the house uh, two weeks ago. He won. He got down the heat register. Bastard. But here's the thing. You guys got three cats, man. One of which is a serious mouseketeer. He don't mess around, man. He He's lobbing heads and stacking them. Uh, anyways, they're really trying to get into the house. Normally, I mean, mice aren't stupid. They're pretty good tacticians. And they know it when a house is pretty much run by cats. These mice don't care. They want in. They want to messed up in a house run by cats mice don't normally do that you guys so i'm just paying attention to what's coming down the road and i'm telling you this winter's gonna suck man don't be caught unaware this is your warning right here and don't be fooled by any indian summers we might get either there's indian summer and there's indian giver not to offend any Indians. It's just, it's a, it's a phrase somebody started way back when. But, no less, man. Don't be fooled by that shit. Just continue forward, getting ready for winter. You know, and this shit should all be obvious. I shouldn't have to say any of these things, but I, I feel compelled to tell you these things because for myself, it's just a common practice. It's what I do all the time. And I see so often, even amongst my friends, they're continually caught with their pants down around their ankles. Why? I don't know. So whatever. I, uh, I'm going to be putting solar here on the house. It's going to be costly. It's going to run me 40000 bucks, And I'm only doing an 18K. I think it's an 18K with two, uh, two bad batteries. I can't find the Sultan batteries. Those are on obtainium. I have to go with lithium ion. I'm not going with AGMs because I don't want 500 freaking batteries. I only want two. So I'm going with lithium ion, storage capacity, 18 panel system, um, 150 watt panels. But. In conjunction, in conjunction with the uh, generator, and then um, I'm going to have a, uh, a panel put in, a charge panel, so if there's a low light day or a no light day, I can charge the uh, batteries with the generator, thereby increasing my, my uh, fuel longevity, right? It's just doubling the uh, amount of time that I'll have, really. So there's that. I get it. Not everybody can afford to drop 40 grand or even 10 grand, but you can prepare. And that's the whole point of these last couple videos. I do it usually every year, talk about preparations, but it's really important, man. And if you haven't noticed by now that preparing in advance, even when everybody thinks you're chicken little and batshit crazy, well, people such as myself have been getting noticed by people who had been calling us crazy over the decades. Well, now maybe you're starting to realize that, shit, maybe I should. And then there's that group of Christians out there that are like, you know, well, I'm just going to rely on Jesus for everything. <laughs> Didn't Jesus tell you to be ready? You know, there's, there's the parable of the ten virgins, right? Well, yeah, that's talking about spiritual preparedness. I get it. But it's translated into two categories, spiritual preparedness and preparedness in the flesh. 
if you're counting on Jesus to save you from or to provide for you for all these things, look, you do what you can and you count on him for, you know, for the rest. You know, he'll fill in the gaps where you're unable to or where you haven't or things you might have forgotten. But if he's giving you the warning in advance and he's giving you the time and the means and the resources and the finances to prepare in advance and you had not, you had chosen not to, then who's the fool? Don't be a burden on those that had listened. Okay? Don't be a burden. Prepare. That's all you got to do. Look, not one of the things I had mentioned are things that you'll not, that, that it's not like you won't be able to use this stuff in the future, right? So, you're, it, it's stuff you're going to buy anyways in the future. So buy it now in preparation of the future because future might not be as you think it might be, right? Just like your gold and silver. You know, I was buying gold when it was a thousand bucks an ounce. Thinking I'm pretty good. I was buying silver. I profited pretty damn good on that silver. And look where it is now. For what I've kept. I could sell it, sure. You know, inflation doesn't care. The government doesn't care. Inflation does not care. Nothing cares about you. Okay? Nature doesn't care about you. Nobody cares about you except for the Lord, if you're His and yourself not to not to say to be selfish but i am saying that you need to look out for yourself and you've been given the warnings and the notices right the little memos that saying ah here's your sign in advance and to not pay attention to those things and just to carry on with your life <clears throat> as if, as if uh, everything's going to return to Normal, you're drinking your own bath water, man. Wake up and do the things contrary to what you may normally think, and you'll discover more than likely soon thereafter that you made a wise decision. Just in what was going on with the toilet paper fiasco and all the, all the fools running around at the last minute when all this shit started, I was just sitting at home watching it going, man, wow, I guess those people should have prepared. I guess they should have listened to the crazies. Imagine what it would have been like to be Noah being heckled after for like, what, a hundred and some odd years? That it took him to build the ark that the Lord told him to build? Yeah, they thought he was bad shit crazy. They gave him shit for it all the time, but, huh, Imagine that. All right, so enough's enough. Good talk. I'm going to close with this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to close with. All right, then. Until next time, my friends. See you.